the competition for under 100 US dollar gets really tough, especially this year 2024. And not to be left out, NF Audio have released their own budget under 100 US dollar IEM, which is this RA15. Welcome to the heart of Kuala Lumpur, Dataran Merdeka, the historical section of heart of Kuala Lumpur. And as you can see here, I am standing here like a madman, like a douchebag because I want to test two things, the comfort factor. So this RA15 is entirely made of metal. It is also super lightweight despite being entirely made of metal. And the ergonomic is, has been designed quite well that I felt super comfortable wearing it for a prolonged period of time because it is small. The second part which I think I really love about this uh, RA15 is that it is also sealing really well. So the isolation factor, if you want something which seals really well, you have to consider this RA15. By the way, this changeable, tunable, tuning nozzle IEM is not a new thing. We have already been presented with SIMGOT EA series, which especially EA500 and EA500LM. And we also have Caffeine Del C. And we also have Hydis doing the same thing, which uh, allows you to change and tune the nozzle. But let me just bring to your attention, what are the different things that RA15 or NF Audio offers with this RA15? You see here, there's two types of tuning nozzle being provided. Namely, one of them, the first one, the stock one, being the steel nozzle. The second one being brass nozzle. Side by side, I can clearly see not only the construction material is different, but the diameter, the size itself is also different. So the steel nozzle does appear to be kind of a bit larger and the brass nozzle smaller. So if you look back at RA15 configuration, the designation for the steel nozzle is in fact considered as being bright and the brass, the smaller nozzle is considered as being warm and I can confirm those two definitely makes this RA15 sounds like different IM altogether so let's just uh, simplify this if you love analytical sound if you love upper frequency energy treble those sort of things that appeals to you then definitely you would want to use the steel nozzle and if you want something which is warmer sounding something which is a bit more natural organic then i would highly recommend that like me right now i am using the brass nozzle remember i mentioned earlier about the tuning nozzle now that you know that depending on which nozzle you choose this RA15 will offer different type of sound but in general I would say that this RA15 is very well tuned for the price of 89 US dollar I think this is one of the most compelling option that you can have for under 100 US dollar considering that there are so many very good competition in the market nowadays again like SIMGOT EA500 EA500LM EW300 and even Caffeine Del C AE all of them offering changeable tunable tuning nozzle okay and all of them priced between anywhere from 79 to 89 us dollar so let's talk about the sound aspect itself i would say that you know based on my impression i have been spending over one month already using this on and off and off trying different nozzle it is very dynamically well tuned kind of sound which i would consider as exhibiting maturity there's no disconnection of the way different layer of sound being presented so you can expect excellent layering separation rendering of the macro and micro detail itself in fact it sounds something like over 100 us dollars so that is already amazing and if you love bass depends on which nozzle you choose if you love bass you definitely would want to use the brass nozzle which is the warmer nozzle because it dampens down a bit of the upper frequency so that you get a bit more of lower frequency so what you're going to get in return is something which is punchy with the mid bass and the sub bass itself kind of like really smooth and it actually disperse into the lower state or the decay itself being super smooth pleasing and musical and when it comes to mid-range it is i think you know would be considered as something which is transparent 
Okay, not exactly coloured. I do feel that there's a bit of coloration in the mid-range itself, but it is something which I would consider as pleasing. So, for example, if you listen to female vocal, somebody like Diana Kroll, or even Sini Ig, it does sound a bit warm when it comes to lower octave female vocal, but very transparent when it comes to high pitch female vocal. And when it comes to male vocal, it is just simply transparent, no coloration, chesty, baritone and stuff like that sounded natural to my ears. Upper frequency again. Upper frequency sounded, again, it depends on the nozzle that you choose. If you choose the brass nozzle, then it is definitely the kind of nozzle which I would consider as safe tuning. It is the kind of sound which will be pleasing to people who are treble sensitive. But if you love treble like me, if you want analytical presentation of the upper frequency with the upper mid-range all the way to the treble decay, then steel nozzle is the one that you want to use. But I also observe that the steel nozzle can be a bit sibilant on certain tracks which are not high resolution enough. For example, if you listen to YouTube or even Spotify, which contain shitty kind of rendering of the you know lossy compression, you can hear that compression on the upper frequency if you use the brass nozzle sound stage. And this thing is super holographic and wide open with the sound stage itself. So considering that it is a single dynamic driver, it is very pleasing to hear that the sound is open and does not exhibit any kind of compression which I can tell of, which I would like to complain about the sound itself. I forgot to mention that it is super easy to drive this RA15 here. Okay, let me just give you some example. This is my phone here, Sony Xperia 1 Mark IV with 3.5mm single ended. And I was already super satisfied with the kind of sound which I'm getting from this RA15 because it is just very efficient with the way, you know, how it demands on the driving needs itself. And in fact, if I were to scale it up with better sources like this iBuzzo DX260 here, my regular go-to DAP, and also at the very least this Onyx Alpha here, then I am getting the kind of sound which I would consider as expensive sound you know the kind of sound quality which i can get from very expensive i am up to 200 us dollar let's just simplify things a bit okay i did mention earlier tough competition for this ra15 so we are looking at again let me just repeat myself sim god ea500 ea500 lm and also calfin del cae and also this uh, sim got ew300 specifically those within the price range of 79 to 90 us dollar and practically all of them made of metal practically all of them offering tuning nozzle so let's just drill down to the <coughs> differences okay before i do differences let's just say one thing in common i will just openly admit all of them are amazing sounding okay there's no other way i can describe it that is my very objective and my very honest opinion. Just because something new came up and it is damn good, I'm not gonna, not gonna just simply say that suddenly EA500 or EA500 LM or even Caffeine Del CAE, not so good. This RA15 is, in fact, let me just clarify this, offering an excellent, excellent alternative to those already exceedingly very successful IEMs. So the differences, First and foremost, remember I mentioned to you the shell itself, despite being made of metal, this is the smallest among all of them. So if you need small IEM, you need a bit more of comfort because you prefer smaller IEM, you can't handle bigger size IEM, you go for RA15. Okay? And then the next one, tuning nozzle, which I mentioned again, let me just repeat. Two different sizes of tuning nozzle, which is, I think, among all of the tuning nozzles which I have tried so far, this is the most effective one because the construction is different, metal and brass. The diameter of the nozzle is different and the density of the padding itself is different. So you are getting literally two IEM into one. And then the sound itself. Okay, let's just compare with EA500 and EA500LM. I would just simply say if you use steel nozzle on this RA15, then it can be kind of a bit brighter as compared to EA500 and EA500LM because of that emphasis on the upper mid-range all the way to the travel region. But as for the rest of the sound frequency, I would say that with the steel nozzle, this RA15 matches whichever 
kind of output which I am hearing from EA500 and EA500LM. And when we compare with the Caffeine Del C AE, not the OG one, I would say that they are pretty much, again, similar, pretty well matched in many ways. Except that, again, this is also brighter with the steel nozzle. However, when I switch to brass nozzle, the warm tuning nozzle, then the upper frequency is dampened. So what I'm getting is something which is a bit more organic. So this is where it competes directly one-to-one -one with Caffeine Del C AE. And then we also have this Simgot EW300 which I reviewed recently. So how does it compare? I would even say that EW300 in stock configuration with the stock nozzle competes one-to-one -one with this when it comes to the steel nozzle. But this gets a bit more musical less emphasis on being analytical, a bit more, let's say, smoothness and warm to it when you switch to brass nozzle. So, I think you get an idea. So, would I recommend this? Absolutely, because it boils down, it depends on the location where you are right now. It probably makes more sense if you buy something which is easily accessible to you. Perhaps it could be Simgot, perhaps it could be Caffeine. And I know some country would have difficulty having certain type of IEM. Perhaps it is easier for you to get RA15, then I would say that get any which one of them which is easily, readily available to you because all of them are amazing. And this is just me being bluntly honest about my opinion on this RA15.